Look at those boots. Nice. Hi guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Hope you guys hope you guys have all had good days. Almost the end of the week. One more day to go. Uh, I'm Harry Bishop. Uh, welcome to my channel. I make gaming content and photography content. And welcome to part 10 of my Red Dead Redemption mission playthrough. Okay, so tonight we've got John Marston on the map. So let's go give him a quick hello. That Shire horse is great. Give him a quick feed. Nice. Lenny, hello. Javier. Hey Arthur. You did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. Yo. What you to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something. About Pouring forth oil one. Uh, what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. John looks so young here, doesn't he? Flam oil. More Put sort of innocent, I guess. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have <coughs> his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need okay, that's a good line. Guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Got to head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right. Let's go find the wagon. Look, a wagon wheel. No. It's not winter. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe they still think that they're out in the snow. I don't know. Um. Oh. That didn't happen. Come on. Went to completely the wrong horse. <laughs> oh dear. Only in this game. Cornwall all the wagon. I said the one in Valentine. Cool. Do 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 do. Where did John go? Oh, there he is. Everyone is wondering about the absence of John Mastron. Oh wait, there he is. Can't talk to him, eh? Weird. That's weird, it's not letting me overtake him. How strange. I can follow him, eh? That's weird. Huh. Never seen that before. Or is this the wagon that John's going to take? Let's see what happens, I'm confused here. Ah, oh, those mountains. Valentine, excellent, excellent, excellent. Strange. Can I take this one then?
There's a wagon just there. Hey, what the hell? Who are you? Um, I am. Go. Okay, we're fine. Huh, no one saw us. Cool. We've got to leave it ooh, all the way down here. Nice. Cornwall. Leviticus Cornwall. Cornwall's a beautiful place in the southwest here. I was studied there for three years. Film studies. Lights, camera, unemployment. <laughs> it was a good time there. And we get to traverse this beautiful scenery on the way. I apologize, I looked away there from the screen for a second. Lol. There we go, sorry. <laughs> Got distracted. Just wanted to keep your attention. Out the dang way. It's cool though, because these horses aren't really um affected by stamina, so that's cool. Shy horse is keeping up. Nice, nice. Wonder what medal I'll get for this. Come on, I think we're almost there, right? Let's see. Eh, not too bad. Yeah, we good, we good. $380, nice. Do 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 do. Beautiful. Yeah. What have you guys been up to today? Let me know in chat. I basically just did my day job today. I'm just chilling out for a bit. Ooh, this be a long drive. <laughs> no chasing though. No chases. There we go. Up near the second set of stables, I believe. Come on, bit more. Bit more. Look at the deer, look at the deer. Gorgeous. Nice. Do I get it parked properly first time this time? Yes, I do. Excellent. Nice. Smooth as silk. The horse is awesome. Yep. Bronze? What? Deliver the wagon one minute forty five seconds. How? Okay, boy. Okay, let's go see John again. That was weird. Where is John? There he is. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Ah oh dear, I can't fast travel yet guys unfortunately, but it shouldn't take too long. <coughs> Look at those birds in the sky, so good. That music. 
the grasslands, the paths, the fields, all wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I love those horse sound effects. trees. So windswept and rugged, I love it. Okay, up we go. Not too far to go back to camp, just on the other side of that mesa or canyon. My geographical term use isn't good. Full stamina again now. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Okay. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, not too far now. Beautiful. <laughs> like the sound effects. The horse, so good. Take a left, a, a left. There we go. Let's go see John again. Just ran him over. It's me. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Let's go see John again. You're all right, boy. Dutch. Hello, John. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Okay. Abigail. Odd. And how are you? Oh, it's just the fishing mission with the Pickertons then. I'm guessing it must be. You call a drunkard? I don't know, Bill. Okay. Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uncle. Where's the little pesha? There he is. What you Yo. Playing. Ain't it 
anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? <laughs> sure. You're... It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up. Lift you on when you're ready. <laughs> the animation's so good. Okay. All right. Hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, Maybe never. We're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. <laughs> All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. There we go. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is. Wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know <laughs> when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Let's try again. This is a great fishing spot. It's all right. Thanks, you kid. See that <laughs> cast, Jack? Wasn't it? You okay there? I think so. This is hard. I like the look of that spot. Over here? Alright, okay. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Okay, off you go then. That's weird. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Now, right, did I have to wait till he left then? I'm gonna try my luck over there. All right, Let's see what's biting there. Okay, all right, I need to go back into. Okay, this is being weird. The 
hummingbird, look. You gotta stick at things, Jack. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. If you're lucky. But Not me, though. This is weird. Sit. Wait. Don't worry. It's good for you. Why isn't any of this working? What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. Um, what's happening? Um... That was so weird. That's when you gotta be careful. Maybe it was meant to occur within dialogue pieces to uh, Jack. It's a small mouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw the Hey, look at this. what? That was weird, sorry guys, I don't know what was causing that. Strange. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the Pinkertons. files. Typical case. Orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milk, <laughs> Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Seconded? Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. <laughs> $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? <laughs> we want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Like the Peaky Blinders. I hate that a little old-fashioned nowadays. Apparently not. Listen. That looks really good in this scene, actually. This is my offer. Better than most. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word. You won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see. I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Hmm. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, hmm. but merciful. One of the gang members? You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's a really good foreshadowing to the um epilogue of uh Red Dead Redemption you One. You might be worried. Let's head back. Jack's cool though, as a kid. Or Lancelot as he becomes known. Okay, let's go. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? 
because adults have to do that sometimes. Well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, do we ever see Mac? I, I don't think we do, do we? Maybe he was just introduced for that one scene like I said, don't worry, as a plot device. World is full of disagreeable man. That music is awesome. Got all of us protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah. I Give it to your mum. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's not <laughs> waiting around. It is. All right. There you are. How you boys get known? Great. Really good. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. They want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? Dutch is so... Such an amazingly designed character. Both vocally and That's in terms of enough. how he looks. So intimidating. It, he has... He just has so much stupid. power, it's wild. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Yeah, bronze, I'm not surprised about that. Alright guys, sorry that that was a bit of a weird mission. I was, I completely forgot that the fishing was involved. Um, yeah. Gonna go to bed. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll see you tomorrow for Friday. Good night.